There's one other kind of loop that uh, I haven't discussed yet, and that is the while loops. There's two different versions of the while loop. One just called the while, the other one is the do while loop. And you can see that they're very similar in syntax. There is a test condition that goes inside the parentheses after the word while in both cases. This is something that it will be evaluated to either true or false. And as long as it's still true, the statements inside the curly braces will be executed. The difference between the two of them is the do while loop will execute these statements at least once. So it's going to execute these statements, then it will do the test. With the while loop, it does the test before it even executes this once. So let's just... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate some random numbers and I'm going to add them to the total and use the total as my test condition. So we'll say while total is less than 30, we'll keep looping. So total is equal to itself plus a random number. We'll say math.random times five, we'll say. So the highest this can be is five, or here we'll, uh, we'll make them integers. Math.floor, there we go. So I'm going to be getting a number from one to five each time. So the highest number I've got is five, so this can loop six times before I get to 30. So minimums, um, minimum of six times this will loop. And we will write out the value of total each time. And as long as the total is less than 30, this loop will continue to go. So move our loops. There we go. So my totals were 3 and then at 7, 11, all the way up to 30. Once it was at 30, it would have looped one more time, or sorry, after it hit 30 and wrote out the value of 30, would have come back to the test condition for the while loop and compared this and said, is 30 less than 30? No, it exits the loop at that point. Now, if we reverse this, if we do the same thing, but with the do while loop, again, same sort of thing happens. But we got up to 33 here, wrote out 33, and 33 is not less than 30, so it doesn't loop the next time. Now the difference between these, if total was 30 to begin with, uncomment this, do inside here. This first one, when we do the comparison, 30 is not less than 30, so this one should never run. This one will run once at least. So it'll take the 30 plus some number, add to it, we'll get it, and then it does the test afterwards to know that it shouldn't be continuing. Yeah. So the do loop does continue that one time, before it gets to the test condition and stops. The while loop immediately stops because it doesn't meet the test condition to begin doing the statements. So that's the while loop. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.